Uh, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. I'm Angie. I'm with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, so Cindy called, and uh, back in the fall, I did our full blown out uh, presentation about what the Convention and Visitors Bureau is, uh, what our function is. Um, and today, she said, you know, we're coming on summertime. There's lots of things going on, and let's teach them where to go to find out what's going on and a, a lot of these events festivals whatever it is there are opportunities for businesses to come out and sponsor tables or um, just get your name out about what you're doing and um, what you have to offer uh, the community so uh, I'm not doing a full blown out PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to walk you through our website. Um, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, for those that don't know, our whole mission is to promote Fayetteville and Cumberland County as a destination, an ideal destination for conventions, tournaments, and individual travel. So basically we want to get people to come here, stay in our hotels, visit our attractions, eat in our restaurants, and go home. <laughs> and <laughs> we want them to drop their money here, yes. <laughs> drop their new money here, and then go back home and say, oh, it was great, and then their neighbors come and do the same thing. Um, because the Convention of Visitors Bureau, that's how we're funded, is through the hotel occupancy tax. So um, other tax dollars, um, we're not government, um, it's when visitors stay in a hotel, they pay an occupancy <coughs> tax. Um, anytime you've stayed in a hotel, you've seen your room charge, you've seen sales tax, and it'll say room tax or occupancy tax. The county collects that, and then it's distributed actually to three different organizations. The Convention and Visitors Bureau, the Crown Center, and the Arts Council all get a piece of that. Um, and then leftover money is managed through a different um, a, so, a organization called the Tourism Development Authority, the TDA, and different festivals um, and events can uh, submit an event or a grant for their event to get marketing dollars to help promote their event to get people to come from outside of the county. Um, so we start that cycle all over again. So people are coming from outside of the county, staying in our hotels, visiting the attractions, visiting the festival. So we start that all over again. So that's how we're funded. So um, we need people to stay in our hotels. That's, that's why I'm here. Um, so we, and because of who we are, um, the home of Fort Bragg, you all know we're very transient. So the minute you get the word out to people, those people move and a new group comes in. So it's constantly educating, this is where you go to find out what's going on. And the Convention of Visitors Bureau, uh, we're a little bit non-traditional um, with Convention of Visitors Bureau because we do try to be that community resource as well. Um, because going to 20 different event calendars is a little cumbersome. So we're constantly talking to our things to do and our events and our festivals saying, send me your events. We'll put them on our calendar so there's one master calendar that people can go to. Obviously, we're not catching everybody, um, but I'm going to walk you through a couple of resources, and then I'm going to give you some ideas of some, some bigger things that are coming up and maybe some things that you hadn't thought about uh, that you could probably go out um, and, and contact those organizations and say, hey, do you have any sponsorship opportunities? Um, and then at the end, actually, the Convention and Visitors Bureau has some opportunities that you can advertise with us on our website. Um, and anytime I do a presentation, uh, I'm basically going through our website um, and saying, you know, we're, we want to be the one-stop shop. We want to tell you what's going on and then you go out and experience it. So this is our website. Um, the only address you need to know is www.visitfayettevillenc.com. Visitfayettevillenc.com. So if you're a first-time person 
coming to our website and because of our function you know trying to um, get meetings and conventions um, we have this kind of landing page where when you depending on how you're coming into our website if you're an event planner if you're um, a resident or if you're a visitor um, you tell us and then the website kind of dictates the information that you need to get um, so let's say you're coming in as a visitor um, but are you related to the military or are you just coming in because I'm kind of interested so we're going to go in as a civilian today so um, you can click on visitor planner or resident um, so we're going to go in as a visitor and we're going to go in as civilian this is the home page <coughs> um, so there's lots of different ways you can search in our, our website um, you can search by um, municipality you can search uh, by Fayetteville Spring Lake Hope Mills Fort Bragg and other areas those are just the smaller municipalities um, that you know don't have as many assets as um, Fayetteville Spring Lake Hope Mills but they're community they're Cumberland County Come, everything is Cumberland County. We represent Cumberland County. Okay. Um, yeah, other municipalities would so be Falcon, Wade, Stedman, East Dover, um, those sorts of things. Um, so you can come up here. You can visit. Um, it says military, meetings and events, group tour, community information, and then media because we do have a department that handles travel writers and getting press releases out and that good stuff. So. Uh, you can click on there however whatever you're interested in but then the second row here this is this is the meat and potatoes about Fort Bragg communities that's all your maps and you know good to know type stuff things to do this is where you want to go so things to do and then a drop-down calendar comes up and it says calendar restaurants shopping golf things to do our cultural heritage trails and trail track which is our um, geocaching trail so um, you want to go to our calendar okay and this comes up you can search our calendar um, by many different ways you can search with dates so if you want to know what's going on next weekend you can put in next weekend's dates and everything that's happening next weekend would populate down here okay or um, you can search by month so that's that's how it automatically that's the default is so it's going to show you everything happening in April so you can scroll down scroll up. Yeah. So, this is so, fancy. <laughs> so we list the events that are going on um, the fall of Fayetteville um, happening it's an exhibit at the Fayetteville Area Transportation Museum Task Force Ranger the Battle of Mogadishu they have a um, temporary exhibit up at ASOM Cumberland County goes to war another exhibit at Transportation Museum um, those are just ongoing um, Cape Fear Regional Theater trip to Bountiful FSU senior so you can see you can kind of get the idea we list a plethora of everything every it's theater it's outside it's museums it's festivals it's bus tours it's whatever's going whatever's been sent to us um, you can also search, and the dates are over here too so you can kind of see so it tells you April 22nd you know things that are going on this week things going on at Lake Rim um, tours out at Clark Park and the Nature Center so you know this we really do try to be a comprehensive resource for things that are going on. That's what we want. Okay. Let's scroll. My touch is a little too heavy. Um, so let's go back up here. You can also search by event category. So if you're just interested in, let's say, um, you're interested in farmers markets, you can click farmers markets. give you the list um, of what's happening in April um, city market at um, the Fayetteville Area Transportation Museum okay. um, so that's really how you utilize the 
calendar. Um, and we've got events, uh, we know about events going on through 2016. Um, so as soon as people give us information, we're plugging it in to our system. And it's, we have a database that we put our events in. It filters our website. We have a mobile app, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Um, and we have a mobile site. Um, so all the information, so if you're on your phone or your iPad or um, you're on our mobile app, all of that information is filtered all the same way. So a couple of events uh, that are coming up, um, if you're new to the area or maybe you hadn't really thought about it, uh, coming up in June, early June, it's the first Saturday in June, June 6th, I think, um, Caker Regional Theater. Uh, puts on Blues and Brews, um, where they feature craft and micro brews um, down in Festival Park. It's a fundraiser for them, and um, I, I haven't been because uh, that's not really my jam. But the people <laughs> in our office that have gone say it's awesome. It's awesome. Music is awesome. Here's my jam, but yeah. the music is yeah. awesome. Yeah, and that's what I've heard. Like, the music is awesome, and it's just, you know. And you it's, dance and everything. It's exactly. really cool. See? Yeah. Um, so, Blues and Bruce. And I know um, they're always looking for sponsors. So, I mean, that's something kind of unique that goes on in our community. And so, reach out to Cape Fear Regional Theater. Uh, you can go on their website. They have a Blues and Brews page. So even if you're just interested in attending, um, you can find out everything that's going on. I think it starts in the evening and kind of goes into the night. Um, the Arts Council puts on Fourth Fridays. Obviously, it's the fourth Friday of every month. And uh, Hay Street. Um, so folks come out and they put up tables and there's dancers and there's art and performers and singers and it's yeah. very lively. Uh, it brings downtown alive, actually. So the Arts Council is the one that um, puts that on, along with Downtown Alliance. But I would reach out to the Arts Council um, and find out because I know that they're always looking, they're always willing to talk to vendors um, to set up tables and, and, and get your word out. Um, something happening in the, in the fall, this is a little further out, I wanted to kind of give a, a, an array of events, things that are kind of happening now and things that maybe you should think of for the future. Um, but International Folk Festival is a huge festival, kicks off with the fourth Friday in, the, uh, in September, so fourth Friday in September, and then it runs all day Saturday and all day Sunday um, downtown into Festival Park and um, I believe the Arts Council has their updated information on their website and they're the primary folks that put that on and you know they're all they're always it's a great place people come out of the woodwork for International Folk Festival um, so it's a really good way to get it out to the masses of what your product is or what you're trying to sell um, to the public. Something that you may not have necessarily thought of, um, the Convention of Visitors Bureau has actually done this um, before and uh, we've sponsored, but Fort Bragg MWR, they host monthly 5Ks. And after the run, when the folks cross the line, they have sponsors um, set up under tents so people can pass out information. So if military, if health and fitness, um, if those are the types of things that you're trying to promote, the Fort Bragg MWR runs um, are a really good way. Um, they always have a lot of people come out. Um, it's families, it's, um, you know, people getting, you know, people will come out for a run. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, so you can call Fort Bragg MWR, their commercial sponsorship coordinator is the one who handles that. And they, they actually, if you, if you get them on the phone, you can also ask them of all the other activities they have going on, because they're selling sponsorships at 
a lot of their events. Um, and we all know that the military is a piece of the fabric of our community. So if you can get the word out to them about what you have to offer or your services, um, it's, it's going to go a long way. Uh, Dogwood Festival, we know that's coming up this weekend, so it's a little too late to try to get in, um, you know, on the scene uh, with Dogwood Festival, but um, the, the company Dogwood Festival, the organization Dogwood Festival, um, they put on several different events throughout the year. So not only do they do Dogwood Festival, but they also do the Fayetteville After Five, which this year is, they've changed it, it's the fourth Thursdays during the summer. Uh, Festival Park, they have bands, um, and again, it's, a, it's a, a, a fundraiser for them to help raise money. Um, and, and it's great. It is great. <laughs> it is great, absolutely. So that's another way um, to hit some masses that maybe you're not necessarily thinking about. Um, Cape, Fear, Cape Fear Regional Theater, uh, they just announced um, their new season um, starting for fall 2015. Um, they have a great lineup, um, but they're always looking for sponsors for each of those productions. And depending on how much money you spend, um, you can get your company name up on their marquee. Um, there's different levels. Um, they, you get tickets. Um, so if you wanted to have a client function, um, they have a separate room kind of across from, like you walk in the building and then there's the theater and then they have a separate room and you could host a client function, give everyone tickets, they could go in and see the play. Um, so there's some neat things that you could do um, with k Regional Theater. Um, Swamp Dogs, Fayetteville Swamp Dogs, our Coastal League baseball team. Um, they're getting ready to start their season end of May. Um, and I was just talking with them yesterday about something totally different than I just happened to ask them because I was on their website and I saw their corporate sponsors and they had logos all on their website. So I asked them, what do you, you, know, what do you get with your sponsorship? Um, and you can get in as a sponsor um, at Fayetteville Swamp Dogs for um, starting at $350. Um, they, depending on what you spend, um, you know, it gives you different opportunities, um, but you can get in and set your table up, um, give out information, um, you can do, you can do things where you sponsor, you know, for underprivileged children to come in and you would be announced, you know, for, you know, you would be recognized as, you know, having kids night or they just have a she was like basically you tell us what you want to do and we'll make it happen for you you tell us your price point and we'll make it happen so uh, you know there's lots of lots of opportunities um, going on golf tournaments tis the season of golf tournaments and golf tournaments are always looking for whole sponsors um, and there's lots of different runs going on too um, and they're looking for water station sponsors uh, and you know in their goodie bags you can put in your information so these are just some ideas that maybe you hadn't necessarily thought about or if you're scrolling through our event calendar you go hmm I wonder if they need sponsors or that fits you know that event kind of fits with what we're doing let me call them and you can click on any of these when it says read more And we give you the phone number. Um, the Transportation Museum doesn't have its own website, but they have a Facebook page. Um, and we know with social media that sometimes the better way to, to contact someone. So we give you the phone number. We'll give you websites and all that to help facilitate you know you getting in touch with them. So. Um, the Fayetteville Observer, I also want to say they're on our homepage, they're one of our sponsors, um, banner ad sponsors, and they, the Fayetteville Observer actually has a really good community calendar where 
they have things on their calendar that we don't necessarily accept because they're not visitor oriented type events. Um, but we do a lot of cross promotion. So check out the Fayetteville Observer's calendar too. They, they list all the blood drives, all the runs, um, lots of community type events um, that we wouldn't necessarily have. So between our event calendar and the Fayetteville Observer event calendar, um, and we cross promote each other. Um, we're on their website and they're on our website. Um, you, you should be able to find what's going on. If you're interested, and this is just one last plug, um, if you're interested in advertising, um, the Convention and Visitors Bureau on our website, um, we offer sponsorships and you can see, this is just the events page. Um, we have Up and Coming who has um, done a banner ad with us, Faye Today, um, who's primarily social media. If you guys are on Facebook and you haven't found Faye Today yet, find them. Um, because he's great. He can he tells you what's going on and when it's going on and um, Faith Today is an awesome resource as well. Um, and we have City View coming up um, pretty soon. But I do have some information. If you're interested in um, getting your banner ad, your logo on our website, I've got some information. Um, our home page is sold out, but quite honestly when I do presentations, I always push people to our event calendar you can get in between $900 and $1,300 for a year. And we can link to anything on your website that you want us to. Um, and it's for a year. And um, you know the fact that uh, we're, we start our fiscal year July 1. Uh, so through July, from July 1 to the end of March, because we haven't pulled our April stats yet, um, we are at just 120,000 unique visits to our website. I can give you other stats um, about just the events page and all that if you're interested in, in finding out more about this. Um, but you know, because we're transient and we've got a lot of local people going to our website, it might be a good way to you know get your information out. Um, and I've got some magnets here, um, which I'll leave in the back, or if you want one, you can come up and get one. Um, but basically, these are new magnets, and it has our QR code for our mobile app. It's called Scout Look. It's a free download for iPhone and Android <coughs> users. Um, so you just scan this, it takes you to whatever store you use. It's a free download. And basically, you're getting everything that's on our website, but it's GPS centered. So wherever you are in the community, it's going to tell you what's around you. It's going to tell you what shopping, what restaurants. It's amazing. We actually designed this in coordination with Fort Bragg MWR, and it's military approved. That's really why we designed it, um, was to get it out at Fort Bragg so people could kind of know what was going on. Um, and then we added some community features too. So it works on post and it works out in the community. Um, and when you see reviews, um, when you're out in the community, those are Yelp reviews. Um, so those are real time, real people reviews. When you're on post, um, you can actually go in. It allows you to go in and put a post. So those are people living here in our community giving reviews on post um, activities. Um, so these are up here and I've got this. Any questions? I'm sure any of you will hang around and absolutely. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you very much. much.